And we're here with Women's Grandmaster Sabina Foisher, a solid draw is black against your co-leader, Nazi Pekidzi. Let's first talk about your tournament. I believe last year you had to quit your job to get here. Uh, yes. any, any kind of uh, big stories this year? Uh, not so much. I mean, I lost my mom, but other than that, uh, nothing related to a job. I did lose my uh, teaching assistantship, <laughs> but that was... Uh, because I had to go back and see how my mom was doing. So. And our condolences from the chess.com family. Is this kind of like a tribute to her? Maybe. I mean, after all, she was a lifelong chess player and a many times Romanian champion. Definitely. I, I feel inspired that, you know, I have to continue uh, her legacy. So I've been trying my best to focus on the tournament and not think of other things. But of course, it's very hard because it just happened and it was sudden. So. Yeah. Well, I think you're doing well so far this tournament. Is this the latest you've had a share of the lead in all your U.S. Women's Championships? I think so, yeah. There was a year where, where I had played pretty well. I think it might have been 2011 or so. But, um, yeah, I, I was not really leading. I just had a good tournament. And then it was that format where uh, we were eight players and the first four were qualifying. So I thought I would qualify, but last moment I lost... Um, last round and I didn't so yeah. and speaking about the fourth woman we always seem to talk about Irina and Anna and of course Nazi and sometimes people talk about Tatev being that worthy competitor you seem to get overlooked does that help you a little bit that there's not a lot of attention on you um, I really don't think about it I mean I was uh, asked this question earlier I think uh, by Maurice and I told him that if I play well of course I like to be acknowledged but if I don't I mean I don't so I mean there shouldn't be acknowledgments for something you don't do so you know if if I play well of course I'm happy if not what to do you have and, to. and what would winning your first US women's title mean to you of course it would be great you know for my mom but you know there are two more rounds and they're difficult so I really have to do my best and lastly since this is becoming a tribute to your mother can you tell us one thing that carries you that you carry with you for that she taught you growing up uh, never give up, I think, and um, be ambitious, I think. Those are the most important things. You're playing very bravely, and thanks for your time, Sabina. Good luck Thank going you. forward. Thanks.